Hey everyone, today I'm running through the Australian Computing Academy's new DT at home activity, Maze Escape. In this activity, you have to come up with a set of instructions to guide someone through the maze, starting at one of the four points, working your way through to the middle. Sounds easy, right? Okay, let's get started. You can set this up in a few different ways. You can just print out the sheet and move markers around on the maze, or you can turn it into a much bigger room-sized activity and lay out masking tape on the floor and turn it into a huge maze that fills up your entire house. Either way, the most important thing is to come up with the very best set of instructions that you can, what we call an algorithm. And in this case, best means shortest. If you can come up with a set of instructions that guide someone through the maze with the least number of steps, you get the most points. And what you really need to do is come up with an algorithm that allows someone to get through the maze. It doesn't matter which one of the paths that they follow. The instructions that you can use are given to you on the activity sheets. You can just cut them out or just refer to them and you can write down your algorithm as you go. So let's get started. We'll go along path number one and we're going to guide this figurine along with our set of instructions. Okay, I'm going to begin with a really basic algorithm, right? The first thing we obviously have to do is we have to step forward and then we have to turn right and then move forward and then move forward and then move forward and move forward again. And then we need to turn left and then move forward. And look, I'm already up to eight instructions and we're only this far through the maze, but it's worse than that. Have a look at what happens when this set of instructions, this algorithm gets used for path number two. So first we move forward and then we turn right and then we move forward again and we're already off the path. This algorithm isn't very smart. It's really long and it only works for path one. To make it more clever, I can use some of the other instructions. For example, to move forward four steps, I could just use one of these to move forward a certain number of spaces. And then there's the if instructions. For example, the if there is a path to the right, well, that could allow me to figure out if there's a path to the right and then use that to, I don't know, maybe turn right. And then there's the while statements. So for example, while there's a path ahead, I could use that to keep moving forward until I run out of path in front of me. That could be useful. So your job is to come up with the shortest set of instructions, the best algorithm that's going to get through the maze and is going to work for any of the paths. It doesn't matter where you start. So see what you can come up with. Good luck. 